Three Point Pleasant, Williamstown, Parkersburg, and Parkersburg South. It's a list of playoff teams. It's also a list of schools that we cover from West Virginia. Josh Vermillion looks at a season that was 74% wins in West Virginia. 2014 was a great year for West Virginia as all four teams finished above 500 and made the playoffs. Despite finishing the season with three straight losses, Parkersburg South was a much improved team compared to 2013. Coach Mike Eddy led his team to a 6-5 record, but were defeated by number one capital in the first round of the Class AAA playoffs. Their crosstown rivals in Parkersburg had to defeat Peace South to get in, and that they did. The Big Reds squeaked into the playoffs and nearly upset number two Cavill Midland in the first round, but ended up losing 42-45 to to finish off their 6-5 season. Williamstown currently sits at 9-2 and will face off with East Hardy on Saturday in the second round of the Class Single A playoffs. The Yellow Jackets have won five straight and will look to continue that on Saturday. Point Pleasant enjoyed an undefeated regular season for the second straight year. The fifth ranked Big Blacks take on number four Martinsburg in the second round of the Class AAA playoffs on Saturday. I'm now joined by Justin McCauley. Justin, I know you're happy to see that Point Pleasant and Williamstown are still alive in the playoffs, but it also was a bounce back year for the city of Parkersburg this year. Oh, you're right. For the Parkersburg, Coach Eddie is in his second season. He tripled his wins going 6-5. and five. They're led by junior quarterback Garrett Gilkerson. So look for him and the Patriots to continue to grow this se into a senior season. Now, Crosstown, the Big Reds barely squeezed into the playoffs after playing one of the hardest schedules in West Virginia. As the 15 seed, they took the number two seed, Cabo Mid down to the wire, unfortunately ending their season. So let's move over to some perennial playoff teams. Williamstown, they seem like they never lose a beat, even after losing a Player of the Year candidate last year, Jake Tracewell. Now Coach Terry Smith has that next man up mentality, and that's exactly what happened. Out goes Jake Tracewell, in comes Dakota Watson. He moved from running back to quarterback this year, and they didn't miss a beat at all, going 9-2, and two, and they're looking to repeat a Final Four appearance later this month. And Point Pleasant, they dominated as well this year. How is Coach Darst keep this program running so smoothly every year. Well, the Big Blacks are 37-2 in the last four years. The senior class has helped institute a winning mindset, and they're led by their dominant defense, who averaged 7.2 points per game. And of course, you know the names Aiden Yates and Cody Mitchell. Mitchell set the single season record this year in two less games. Now, Yates is a dual threat, he can sling it, and the senior class is looking to have a long playoff run this year. Justin, we'll have to see how West Virginia wraps up this year. Great job wrapping things up tonight and all season.